Ta-da! Hey, what's up? This is Adam with Mr. Horse. We have made a new pack for you. We call it Filmmaker's Transitions. Let's take a look at how to use it and how not to use it. Now, let's turn around my finger. There is a... You can turn it on in here. And if I press it here, it dances. What a cool stuff! Now that you have seen what it can do, let's talk about the rules. The first rule, do not abuse the transitions. Use them only sometimes on the right shots. The rule number two, never forget the first rule. So, now comes a clean cut. Nice. This one is the best. Cleanest cut ever. Let's dive in. Right now I am in Adobe Premiere. These are the shots that we have used in our vlog intro. So let's play with them a little bit. I will select the clips, right click and choose replace with After Effects composition. This has opened After Effects and asked me to save the file, so I'll just write how to transitions, okay. And now I have here the same thing that I had in Premiere. I'll change the staking order of the layers and let's add some transition. I'll go to Precomps, Filmmakers, Transitions, Simple Distort, Zoom Out. For now I will edit without the sound, I'll just Move it here. Okay, not bad. I'll add the same thing in here. I'll select this layer, edit. And right off the bat, this is what we have. Not bad. Before I will show you how to adjust it, let's just check the Premiere. If we go back to Premiere, you can see that the clips were replaced with After Effects composition, this one. And the transition is already there. Awesome, isn't it? Let's talk about the best practices a little bit. You always want to combine the shots that look well together and you need to match the right transitions between them. So for example, if you have a panning to the right, then you want to combine it with panning to the right. The transition that we want to use for it is also panning to the right. Another example, I'll take off the... It's making noises. If you have a shot where the scene rotates clockwise, then you want to ideally combine it with a similar shot. And also use, for example, rotate camera clockwise transition. Another example, if you want to use a zoom transition, Ideal case is if you have the center of the transition on the same place on both scenes. But you can also keyframe it. If you break these rules, the sky is not gonna fall, but it will not look like the best thing you ever seen. Now let's zoom in. This is the project file that is included with the free version of Animation Composer that you can download. We are in this composition. I'll just move this window somewhere else so it doesn't stay in the way and let's preview what we have. By the way, this transition is included in the free version of Animation Composer, so check it out. Great, let's put it together once again. I'll delete these transitions that are already here move the playhead to the cut, select this layer and select simple distort zoom out. I'll add it. And here we go. Uh, now, the problem with this is that I want it to zoom out from here. So here's what I can do. 
Each transition has a different controllers available. So if I open this little arrow, you can see that there are master properties. Just a quick note, these master properties are available only with the new version of After Effects. If you do not have the latest version of After Effects, the latest one is at the moment 15.1, then you can still go inside the composition, select the first layer, go to Window, Effect Controls, Panel, and adjust the settings in here. You can add Shake, now you can see that it shakes. I'll turn this off. You can also change the strength of the color distortion and so on. Now we want to change the center of the transition. But instead of changing these numbers, I'll show you a little trick. I'll select this layer and select this pan behind tool. Now I can drag the anchor point. I will move it somewhere here. So we can see what, hap what is happening. And by this, you can adjust the center of the transition really quickly and easily. Now it fits much more. Let's do the same thing with the other cut. I'll move the playhead, select the layer, add the transition, and adjust the anchor point so the center of transition is here. Let's preview it. And this is what we got. Another great thing that you can do is to change the duration of the transition. If you trim the transition, maybe I can go a little more extreme so you can see what's happening. Yeah, you can see it's now much faster. Another cool thing about this is that if you have transition with sound, now we don't have, so let's check this checkbox and having this selected, let's replace it with the same transition with sound. Okay, this is what we have. And if I change the duration by trimming the layer, the sound is adjusted as well. Okay, let's now check some camera moves. Here's a cool thing you can do with the camera. I'll delete this and redo it once again. I'll go to the camera transitions, choose the camera move quick, I'll turn off the sound for now. As I'm looking to the right, I will choose this one. I'll select this layer, press add, and here we are. Make it a little bit shorter. Here we go. You can make adjustments to this transition as well. I'll press this arrow and open the master properties. And for example, you can see the direction angle. Right now it's set to 90 degrees. If I change it to, let's say, 130, it will change the direction of the camera. Let's jump to another example. This is a roll. I'll select the layer and show you which one is it is this one. This is me eating a donut. Okay. And you can really improvise. If you plan your shots, then you can create a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense. Let's now check how to combine stuff. Now I am back in the example number two with the quick camera. Uh, I want to keep this, so instead of deleting it or replacing it, a quick little trick is to do a safe replace. Let's say that I want to use camera move short shaky, I'll just press save replace, and it will hide the previous transition and add the new one on top of it. This is the preview, and let's add some glitch to it. I'll move my playhead to the cut, press add, and now I have glitch on top of the camera. This is how it looks. It's pretty cool. And now let's experiment. I want to replace this camera for, let's say, 
Um, bulge. Bulge, roll, and shake. I will hit save, replace. And this is how it looks a glitch with a bulge. I think I want to make the glitch last a little longer. Okay, here we go. Or I can replace the glitch for a light leak. Or maybe the first one. Okay, again, save, replace. So this is a bulge transition with a light leak. And I can move on. Cool, isn't it? This is a shot that I've made for Instagram. It's a loop. The interesting thing about this is that the center of transitions is always somewhere else. And if you have a case like this, you can use keyframes to adjust the center of the transition. So in here, for example, if I press U to reveal the keyframes, check where is the anchor point of this layer. It's in here and on the next frame, it moved down there. If I turn this layer off, you can see that it zooms into this hole and then zooms out from this one. Let me show you how it's done. I will just delete this. Okay, now it doesn't work. What you need to do is to select the layer, press P for position, then hold Shift and press A to reveal also the anchor point. Now I will add keyframes to both. I'll zoom in a little, move the keyframes in here. Move the playhead to the left by one frame. Now if I press Y to select the pan behind tool and change the center of position. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. You can use the preview grid to browse the transitions. Just select the folder and you can press this little button or this one. And this will bring up the preview grid. Then you can, you know, scroll down select the transition you like, choose the variation and press add to edit. And you can see it, here it is. You can use these transitions for whatever you want to spice up your ads, wedding videos, music videos, tutorials or your vlog or what is in my backpack kind of stuff. And for making awesome seamless loops for your Instagram. By the way, we have a lot of cool loops on our Instagram, so be sure to check it out. The link is below. Use these transitions to add a little bit more of the professional touch to your videos. So you can ask more money from your clients because you have obviously spent more time by adding these little details. We have included some of the transitions in the free version of Animation Composer, so go ahead, download it, enjoy it, and that's it. That's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the donut. Yeah, smash the like button and subscribe if you're not already.